I got another package in the mail. This gigantic Half Yard bundle of the new To The Pink collection is now in my little hands. I already have a design all picked out for this that I have been working on and I am going to cut it up and we can start sewing these blocks together. The first thing you'll need to do is sort your fabrics. I'm working with a half yard bundle here, but the pattern is written for fat quarters. You'll need to sort your fabrics into sets of four, and four fabrics will make one of the very large blocks. I have also amended the pattern because this quilt ended up being so very large and 99 inches square. I've added some instructions to the pattern to make this uh, layer cake friendly, and that quilt will end up being about 54, 55 inches square. As soon as you have sorted and pressed your fabrics, there is a cutting diagram in the downloadable PDF. To access the pattern, there is a short paragraph of information below the video player on YouTube, and in all caps it says show more, and you just need to click on that and a bunch of information will pop up, including the link to the pattern. Now that all our fabric is cut, it is time to make our gigantic blocks, and we're going to make them kind of a quarter at a time. And I have two fabrics here that are going to go together, and these are going to create half of our eventual giant block. These are the 14 and a half inch squares that we cut from our fat quarters, and we are going to make eight at a time half square triangles with them. So guess who forgot to push record the first time she did this? Me. So these are the fabrics that I actually meant to work with, and I did because they're done, but I didn't record it. So we're gonna redo this step with different fabric, and um, hopefully this will all work out. So I have my two squares cut according to the pattern, which they should be 14 and a half inches, but I didn't have that much fabric left over, so these are 11 inches. But yours should be 14 and a half. And I'm actually thinking this might work out even better because I'll actually be able to get it all in the frame of the camera. So with these two squares, we are gonna be making eight at a time half square triangles. And to do this, we are gonna place our squares right sides together and just align the edges as best you can. If they're a little off, it's fine. There is some trimming room built into this pattern as there always are with my patterns. So you're gonna to need to grab a ruler that goes from corner to corner. Oh, this one's short. So you're gonna to need to pull out a big ruler for this project because you are gonna to need to draw two lines, one on each of the diagonals of this set of fabric. If you just simply do not have the space to work with these size squares, then you can cut this down and instead of doing eight at a time half square triangles, oh my God, I almost cut it. I meant to draw a line and I almost just sliced these. Okay. If these squares are simply too large for you to work with in the space that you have allotted, then instead of cutting 14 and a half inch squares and doing this eight at a time half square triangle method, then you can cut your squares seven and a quarter inch squares, and then you'll just simply need to do two at a time half square triangles four times instead of eight half square triangles one time. But you will end up with the same result. But to do the eight at a time, we're gonna draw these two lines from diagonal to diagonal. And on the second diagonal, I wanna make sure that I go through the corners, but what's more important is that these lines are really nice and square and perpendicular to each other. So I'm gonna make sure that my previous line follows one of the lines on my ruler. And then I can draw this other diagonal. And now we are gonna sew a quarter of an inch on either side of these lines, both lines. So four lines of stitching total. Now that we've completed our four lines of stitching, it is time to cut these eight half square triangles apart. And to do that, I'm gonna cut on both of the lines as well as the north, south, and east, west kind of middle. And this is kind of large and awkward. If you have a mat that you can kind of spin around as you're working on this, that will be ideal. And you can go in any order with these lines. I'm just gonna kind of follow the clock around. And I'm just lining up the cut of my square, kind of the edge, and making sure that my ruler, the edge of my ruler goes right through that center.
last cut. So now that these are all cut apart, we have eight half square triangles. And voila, through the magic of YouTube, <laughs> they're suddenly the right fabric again. <laughs> So now that I have them all cut apart, it is time to press them. And I'm just gonna press my seam allowances open as is my preference. If you like to press to the side, by all means. Once these are pressed, then we'll be ready to move to the next step. It is time to make the second set of half square triangles. <laughs> so with our half square triangles, our print print half square triangles, we are going to combine one of those with a plain background square. And mine are white, but yours may be a different color. And I have drawn my diagonal line on the back of my background square, and now I'm going to align it with my print half square triangle. Now your background squares may be slightly smaller than your print half square triangle, and that's okay. We did not trim these half square triangles down to a perfect size because we're gonna have to trim them at a later stage. So the important thing is to align the corners of your background square with the diagonal seam line of your half square triangles. So I want that point to meet that seam and this point to meet that seam. Once you have those points aligned, then we are gonna sew a quarter of an inch on either side of this line. Now, just like any two at a time half square triangle, now we are gonna cut along that line. And now we have a mirrored pair of this unit. That's not quite a quarter square triangle. It's not quite a half square triangle. It's kind of in between. So you can see the kind of bird fabric is on the bottom and this pink fabric is on the top. And if you were to align them, you would see that they are not the same. Like there's the white side and then there's the print side and the fabrics on the print side are switched. And that is exactly what we are going for. We are gonna have eight matched pairs of these half square triangle-ish units. We are gonna press these and you could press them open or you could press to the background, whichever is your preference. And just keep these in two separate stacks as you process these apart. So now that our units are pressed, it's time to trim them. And you're gonna need an at least six and a half inch square ruler for this. I'm using a seven and a half. Anything bigger than six and a half is gonna work. So to trim these, you are gonna align the diagonal line on your square ruler with your long diagonal seam line, the one that separates the, the background from the prints. And once that's aligned, you are gonna slide your ruler until the six inch mark right here intersects with your other seam line. So two reference points, the diagonal and where the six inch meets the edge of the ruler. Trim off the excess. And then it's just a matter of lining up the diagonal and the six inch lines on your ruler. And then you can trim off these other two sides. And just repeat that with all 18 million blocks in this quilt. I did it over a couple of days and all that trimming, I have very strong feelings about different rotary cutters now. Like some of them were fantastic and some left little sad bits on my hands from the little nubbin thing here. But break it up if you can, just give your hands a break. But once all of your blocks are trimmed, then it is gonna be time to assemble the quarter block units for our big quilt. So I am gonna go ahead and finish up this set. And I have already done the other kind of corresponding set to make our one big block. So we'll be ready to assemble the big block. So I've had my headphones on and I have been trimming up a storm. And now it is time to assemble our quarter blocks. And you will need one set of the all the same half square triangle-ish units. And you're gonna assemble this with some six inch blocks from the background as a nine patch. So I have the ones with the pink and the fairy dust. And then these are the opposite ones, the fairy dust here and the pink here. I'm setting those aside because those will be a different block, quarter block. So this will be laid out just as a nine patch. And you want, as in the pattern, the prints to be pointing towards this plain white square. We're ready to sew. I'm gonna sew these seams 
and then press, and then I'll attach these blocks and press, and then I will sew the rows together with these two long seams. And that's it. I'll repeat that with the other arrangement of pink and fairy dust, and then the two different arrangements of the other pair of blocks that go with this pair of blocks to create the large, the large like 33 inch block that we're looking at. So four quarter blocks, each with a different arrangement of prints and each one goes together like a nine patch. I'm going to do all four of them and then we'll be back to sew it together into our block. I have been sewing and all four of my quadrants are together and they are way too big to fit in my overhead camera, but you can kind of see the, the center of the design right here. We are going to assemble these quarters as a four patch and you want to place the kind of pairs of fabrics across from each other. So it creates kind of this diamondy 3D effect. So my pink and fairy dust goes here and pink and fairy dust goes here and then the two purple ones go across from each other and you will have this white square in the middle. The six inch squares will be on the outer corners of your quadrant. <laughs> this is all. So the six inch squares are on the kind of far corners of the big block. I'm gonna sew this together like a four patch and then I am gonna sew the whole quilt together like a giant nine patch. I have the first two rows already done behind me. So this will finish up my third row and then I'll show you the whole thing. It's done. This is by far the biggest quilt I've ever put together for a video on this channel. And even though the blocks are really big, they're 33 inches a piece, but the whole quilt comes together as a simple nine patch. So the seams are long, but there's only a few of them to sew there at the very end. Now the whole quilt is behind me, but I know it's too big to really fit in the frame of my camera, so I'm putting in a couple of shots right here. I had to take it outside to actually spread it out enough to get some decent pictures. The pattern for this quilt is in the description below. It's free to download, and um, if you click on the show more in the description right below where the video plays, a bunch of links and information will pop up about this video. The pattern itself is written for fat quarters, and you will end up with the quilt behind me, which is 99 inches square. But if you don't wanna be that crazy, then there is also a layer cake version in the pattern for a smaller quilt, which will turn out to be, I think, around 54 inches square. It's the same steps, just with smaller pieces of fabric. If you liked this quilt and you liked this video, then be sure to subscribe. I have new videos that come out every week, and that most of them include a free pattern or downloadable like this one, and it's totally free. I'll be back next week with another video for you guys, but in the meantime, there are some boxes popping up right here with a link to all of the videos that I have that have free quilts like this with free downloadable patterns, and another video that YouTube thinks that you will love. I will be back next week, and until then, happy quilting. Actually recording this time. <laughs>